yes, yes. We are here. We are live at last. Thank you. We also have dinner. Hello, Sora. Hello, Parker Novosel. Welcome. Oh, it's actually kind of hot. Oh. I'm going to let that cool off for a moment on my lap. <laughs> we got an ostrich? Mmm. All right, we're back. All right. Hello, Marco. All right, let's resume. What's for dinner? So we got some kind of vegetable menagerie. So we got like broccolis, we got carrots, we got peppers, and we got some kind of, I, I think this is pork or beef with teriyaki sauce. Dinner, ostrich. No! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's good. Yeah. But anyway, hello, Michael. Hi, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Taran Senpai, and welcome back to Planet Zoom, where last time we uh, we built this pretty awesome alligator exhibit. If we could find one of the buggers, that'd be pretty cool. So here's the big daddy of them all, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think this is him. This is Delon. Yeah, that's Delon. Delon! Wait, what's wrong? Oh, cl cleanliness. How's cleanliness an issue? <laughs> Alright, so maybe... can't believe I'm in the American now. You better believe it. Seeing alligators so clearly is awesome. I will cherish this memory forever. You can get a good view of the American alligator from here. Well, it looks like our guests aren't complaining about the view of seeing the alligators. But now, we're going to be building another enclosure, and we're going to put it right here. So, pardon me while we build a path. Actually, nah, nah, nah. That, that's a bit too close to staff buildings, actually. But what we can do is put some amenities there later down the line. Heck, why wait? Oh, an ATM. Yes. Give us your cash. There we go. And we also need donation boxes. Pretty sure that's here. Yes, donation box. Yes. Yes. I forgot to put these down last time. Maybe some glass sections on the wall? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, the money. So we'll make it green and then a light green, like an alligator. Then we're going to copy... Control, control V, control C, what? Oh, control D, excuse me, duplicate, that's right. I'm stupid. I haven't played prehistoric kingdom in a while. A blacky, Kalepo. I kind of wish Jurassic World Evolution and this had visitor names and it an info card for a single person where they came from. Like JPOG, basically. Okay, uh, 
edit barrier. So we'll make this one-way glass. Right? There you go. So the, the gators won't see us, but we can see them. Pretty smart, huh? Wait, why? What are they complaining about? I wish I could have stayed longer to see the American. That seems more like a positive than a negative. What? It's astounding how stupid people can be. Yep. And... Here. There you go. You could follow the whole trip of one person to the park. Their POV it was amazing. It was, wasn't it? Edit barrier. There we go. Now the enclosure has some glass. And I need to fill up some on my food a little bit. Let's try this pork or whatever. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's definitely pork. I got sauce running down the fish. I have an idea of what I want to do. But it's not letting me do it. Get off! Oh my god, you are so infuriating. Get off me. You suck. You know that? You absolutely suck. Here I am, trying to make a beautiful park. And then you go and do that. There you go. Now to create the boundary. Ah, I see my problem here. Then we're going to want to go uh, this way. Going to go that way. A boop, a boop, a boop, a boop. Hmm. Maybe it could be a bit bigger, a bit bigger, a bit bigger. So today, in case you weren't paying attention to the thumbnail or the title, uh, you need reading glasses. Uh, get out while you can uh, and go retake your driver's license because I think you cheated uh, somehow. Yeah, we'll live with that curve. Uh, we are going to be building an Okapi habitat. Now, if you don't know what an Okapi is, it's kind of like this, this African mammal that's related to giraffes. And it kind of looks like a cross between a giraffe and a zebra. All right, so let's see. What kind of fence do you think we should use? Should we use brick? Should we use concrete? Or maybe the wood? Who knows? Delete that, please. Thank you. I'm thinking we use the brick.
And let's go ahead and set an angle snap to 90 degrees. Uh, if, ooh, maybe wood. Oh, they're so cool and cute. I love them. They ha also have very purpley. Yeah, kind of like a giraffe. Oh, wood logs. Ooh, that actually looks much nicer, actually. Brick blends well, too. Well, now you're just teasing me. Yep. There we go. Oh, no. I bent it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Delete, please. Thank you. Okay. We got this. We got this. I'm not crying. You're crying. Must be symmetrical. Thank you. Oh, no. I done did it again. I can never impress you. This is where the 90 degrees is going to come in. Shorten the length. Bang. And why won't you keep going? Why? Why must you insist on being like this? Don't laugh at me. I really need to think of this. I really need, I need to think of this. Like, seriously, this is kind of becoming a bit of an issue. I think it's not level. Not level. What do you mean? Let's try this. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I have outsmarted you. But now it looks messy. I don't like that. The ground should be level. I mean, it's supposed to be flattened. Like, look, it's fine there. All right, shorten the segment a little bit again. What is wrong with you? Now, let's add another segment. And then put, put the wood down. Uh-huh. Now, you see, that looks okay. So why is it that it won't work on the others? Delete. You just want to deny me my happiness. Okay. So our Okapi habitat is going to be a bit smaller than we anticipated. Hopefully we can get away with it. Turn off the angle snap for a moment and put up. Now we're gonna need shorter segments. Because we got a bit of a curve.
Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. And... Why are you not gonna connect? Why, why is it tall of, all of a sudden? When did it get so tall? Get down. What the hell? It just grew like 50 feet. So why are you causing me the most grief? There. If I do that. Why? 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 Panel too short. Really? Really, my dude? Boom. There. Now, if I get rid of this... Uh, boop. Will this fix it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, screw you. I am a genius and you are not! Now. Let's deal with this path situation. Because apparently it's not going to be happy with me. <laughs> All right. Shoop, shoop. Beep, 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 beep. Bam. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the look. That's the look right there. Although it's not as impressive as our alligator after that little nip. But hey ho, what you gonna do? Now we need a gate. There. We're also gonna have to make this part of the work zone. Work zone, work zone, work zone, work zone. How do I do this? Where, Where is the work zone? Most appealing? Well, yeah, it's an alligator. It's the only animal we have. Staff. Work zones. Edit work zone. Make all of this. All of this. Part of work zone one. Please and thank you. Okay. Next up, I think I want some, uh, sh up, up, up. Animal exhibits. Oh, a walkthrough exhibit. Ooh, this could be fun for later. Let's put this down right here. There we go. And we'll place something in there eventually. Oh no, the vegetable juice is getting on all the meat. Okay. So now we need all copies. There they are. Okay. So what are we looking at? One male, one female. So we don't really need to get a whole bunch of them.
What's this? What am I doing? I'm just changing the alphabet. <laughs> okay, I'll copy, I'll copy, I'll copy. Where are you? There you are. Confirm. Okay, so. We'll get this guy. And we'll get this female here. And a blip, blip. Send zoo and pop them over here. And while we're at this, let's also fix the barrier a little bit so our guests can actually see them. The next animal be a grizzly bear. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do that. I'm excited to see how to design this exhibit. Yeah, so am I. I've never really made an old copy habitat before. Oh, my nose is awfully runny, and I don't know why. There we go. Oh, no. Did I just put regular glass here? Yeah, I did. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, and peek. Oh, that should be them right there. Run, little man, run. Let's see him. We got Bucko. And my fork fell. Oh, no. And Badua. Okay. So let's get a good look at these guys, shall we? Look at them. Ooh, you're cute. You're the female. And you must be the male. Look at you. You got tiny little horns on the top of your head. You're so cute. You're a cutie wooty. Okay. So now we need to get uh, all their needs situated. So, first things first, let's give them a shelter. Yikes, that's a bit big. Animal burrow. Aquatic large. No, 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 no. I have a video from one from London Zoo when Sora and I went in 2018. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I'll send it over on Instagram. Thank you. Ooh, hello. This could be fun. Still a bit too big, though. Oh, my God! Okay, you know what would make this easier? There. Now, you see, that just made it a whole lot easier. Look at that. That's so much nice. That's so much easier. It's simple in design, 
But it looks nice. Now we just need some bedding for them. Boop. There you go. Exit. Thank you. Boom, boom. Okay, so now they have a hard shelter. Okay, okie doke. So they have too much long grass. Don't go into the long grass! And they need more soil. More soil. Okay, so... <laughs> so essentially, they can't like have any grass whatsoever. Now we're going to give them rock. A little bit of rock here and there. A little bit of rock, 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 rock. Yes, the meme potential. It's the Dwayne Johnson. Oh, now they don't have enough short grass. Okay. So there is a limit. We're going to want some sand. Just scattered here and there. And boom. There you go. Excuse me while I take a couple more bites for my dinner. Now we need to give them proper food and water. We'll give them a food trough and we'll place it right there so the guests can see them eat. And we'll have a large water trough. Right here. Again, for the guests to see. And we need enrichment. So we're gonna give them a rubbing pillar. A sprinkler. Ooh, they're scratching trees. Hello. A plant screen. Ooh, that could be lovely. Yeah, 100% give them that. And a hanging barrel. Hello, Giganotosaurus Creations. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Starting to see some new faces at last. Okay. Teriyaki sauce is pretty good. Okay. Ta-da, their habitat's done. No, not quite. We still need to add vegetation and stuff like that. So. Let's go ahead and give them what they want. So we're going to need tropical and Africa. Down in Africa. African oil palm. Ooh, ooh, sexy. Yup, yup. And then we'll place. Hey, that's an agave plant, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it's an agave. Just like the ones we see in the aisle. Down in Africa. 
Yeah, we know Demeem. We know Demeem. We know Toto. There we go. Yeah, there's they're pretty fine with the century plant. I'm gonna put another African palm here. Oh, they can have like an entire habitat full of vegetation. What do you guys say? Should we go crazy with like the veg with like uh the vegetation around here? I think we should. Custard apple. Ooh, yummy. Blue lotus. Should we give them like a body of water? Like a tiny little puddle? Let's give them a little puddle for them to drink from. Do it. There you go. Now they have like a little pond they could drink from. And that also gives me an excuse to use the lilies. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Is it level with the water though? Yes. And they're totally fine with it. I'm playing Path of Titans. Oh yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's actually been a while since I played Path of Titans. I have um a couple of episodes I still need to edit um before I can move on. Cuz I I still have the entire T-Rex playthrough to get through. And um I also have you know the the Lassodromius. That's too. It's so visually similar to the other exhibit. There we go. And is it going to be level with the water again, or am I going to have to give you a spanking? Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Bird nest fern. Ooh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Kapok tree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Why are they so big? There we go. Vines. Where are we going to keep vines? Uh, a pillar? The hell? Well, where is it? There it is. A tree fern. Ooh. Pretty. Oh, that's a nice looking tree. A strangler fig. Boink. Oh, and we can have weeping willows. Nah, 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 nah. We won't. We won't do that. We won't. We won't put down the weeping willows like we did last time. At least not yet. I want to make each exhibit kind of like its own thing before we, you know, duplicate. What's this? Staghorn fern. Um, where's the bottom? Huh. 
mangrove apple. Ooh. We have to have an orchestral score. A bush. A bush could be lovely. Especially to hide the roots. Look at that. That looks so much nicer. Yeah, boop. Boop. So many bushes. Such little time. Boop. A sausage tree. You silly sausage. I didn't know sausage trees were a thing. Why are they called that? Oh, wait. I think I can see why. Look at that. They had, like, dangling things coming from the bottom. Kind of like us. Kind of like sausages. A rhubarb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big rhubarb. Now, where's that bush that I found earlier? Ah, there you are. Cover the unwanted blemishes. the bush here all right next get another tree fern It's a paradise. There we go. Ah, and that should be the video. Now to give people a reason to come here. Give them an ATM here. And an ATM uh, there. Now we need media and devices. And here's the TV. Oh, copy. Oh, right. There's no power here. Damn it. If only that was a setting you could turn off. Like in Jurassic World Evolution. Right. 
gotta think. Gotta think. So what we'll do is we'll move that here. Uh, facilities. Oh, utilities. Solar panel. We'll have to hide it, but. Can I please exit this heat map? Exit the group, please. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that path is gonna have to be transformed into a staff path. Boom. And we're gonna have to surround it with trees. America and Holly tree. I have a holly jolly tree. Make it look less conspicuous. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get. Please tell me it's working. Still no power? What the frit? After all that, after all that, it's just out of range. No. Blasphemy. There, now it's working. <laughs> you can't beat me. No, I didn't want to do that. Poop. Educational speaker. Good. Now, copy and we'll copy. There we go. Behold my triumph. Look at that. 
accomplish so much. Okay. Now, uh, unpause that. It looks like they require a slightly larger shelter. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this. Oh, no. We can sell these without power. Oh, it's the ATM. Bye-bye. We'll worry about that later when, you know, we have to worry about that. What's this? Habitat web camera. What's that? What does it do? What do? What do? Uh, now we need... Trash cans. Boop. Make the world a greener place. Now we have to get to that. that, that, that. Um, we need a donation. There is a donation. And we'll make it brown. And white to match the copies bear behind oh it's blue oh near no. uh, actually the bl nah I still want it white This cause me, causes me such discontent. Ah, stop it! Okay. And that should be that. And it looks like they're still going to require a bit more shelter. This actually looks much nicer. Boop. So we'll place that one there. We'll get rid of this one. And this will be their shelter now. And a boop, boop. And a boop, boop. Boop. There we go. Look at that. How is that shelter still not enough? What's it gonna take to satisfy you? Oh, you're all wet. Look at you. You're a wet girl. You're beautiful, though. I love you. Oh, the little wiggles. You're so cute. Yeah, look at them. They're glorious. And they're kind of phasing into each other. Oh, look at them run. Run, 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 run. Oh, are you going to interact with the little rubbing pad? No? Yes? Maybe? I think that's enough. Woohoo! 
Look at him run. Run, 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 run. Not a care in the world. Philippa. I swear, the, the sound effects of the people always get to me. It's like it's like J-Pog all over again. Oh, you did little lickies. You lick your faces. Starting to think that the bedding might be a bit too close to the water, so we'll just scooch it back just a bit. Okay, so while we're here, let's learn a little bit about the Okapi, shall we? Zoopedia. And here we go. Okape. Okape. Okapia Johnstani. Class Mammalia. Order. Articodactyla. Family Giraffidae. Genus Okapia. It's an endangered species. Oh, that's not good. Population in the wild, 10,000 to 35,000. <clears> the Okape, or Okapia Johnstoni, is a secretive species native to the dense forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo. They have a distinctive appearance with a gray-white face, dark brown coat across their torso, as well as bright stripes across their, hind, uh, across their legs and hindquarters. The sexes differ slightly, as the males also have small horns, whereas females have Whirls of hair in the equivalent area. I don't know why my English is failing me. Both average 4.62 feet to 5.28 feet tall. So about as tall as me. And 7.92 to 8.58 feet long. The species is endangered for a number of reasons. Firstly, deforestation and expansion of human infrastructure have caused the destruction of their habitat. But they are also killed for the bushmeat trade and have been victims of the conflict in the Democrat Republic Congo. The war there means the use of firearms and also the enforcement of boundaries which may impact on their territory and foraging routes. The Okapi is the flagship species for the Congo rainforest ecosystem and as such has nature preserves and multiple captive breeding programs dedicated to protecting it. And I'm very thirsty. Ah, dang. <clears throat> All right, so. And here we go. It's in that tiny sliver, that tiny little sliver of Africa. Look at that. that they, they're so tiny. And now we have the species data. Well, copies are solitary, interacting only to mate, the only exception being a mother with her calf. Okapis live alone in dense woodland, making their territory with scent release from their glands in their feet. They are then tracked by other okapi in order to mate. When two meet, they will court each other by circling, sniffing, and licking each other before mating and going their separate ways. After a pregnancy of 14 to 16 months, the mother will give birth to one calf, which spends the first two months of its life hiding in the undergrowth while its mother forages. The young okapi adult matures into adults after two years old, leaving the established to establish their own home range. These are very, like, reclusive animals. Reproduction and captivity very easy, apparently. And we have some fun facts. The Okapi and the giraffe are the only members of the giraffe family. Newborn Okapis do not defecate for the first month of their life to prevent predators from locating them. Okay. Okapis have 12 inch long prehensile tongue. Okapis can retract their eyeballs into their skulls to protect their eyes when traveling through thick undergrowth. Interesting. The Okapi had the nickname African Uniform. <laughs> Let's try that again. The Okapi had the nickname African Uniform Unicorn before it was officially discovered. People would tell stories of seeing a donkey like creature with small horns in the forest, but its existence wasn't confirmed until 1901. And they don't get on with anything else. Much, just like the alligators. So there you have it. We got some facts about the Okapi. 
kind of want to add some rocks now. And biome, tropical, and continent. Africa. There we go. This looks fitting. Yeah! Sure! You know, this is something that I always do in Prehistoric Kingdom. And, and it's like, I will constantly add rocks to a habitat, right? Because I feel like if you just put down, like, normal terrain, that, I mean, that kind of brings it to life a little bit. But not into the level of detail, like, you know... Of like having rocks around a body of water. It gives it a bit more detail, I think. It makes it more realistic, I think, you, you could say. Yes, little details like that bring it to life. Yes, they do. Just like that. Look at that. That looks so much better. I think I might want to move that away from the from the trees and place that here instead. There we go. Is it accessible? Yes, it is. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Just adding, just like little details like that, make this come to life. Now, what are guests saying? I suppose it's fine. You can get a good view. Happy. I wish I could have said. Again, that seems more like a positive than it is a negative, right? What are the keepers doing? Constantly coming back here. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Sure is quiet today. Aren't hungry in the moment. I'm gonna watch you. Yeah, I'm a what? Why are you colliding into her? Is she a lover? <laughs> we have a guest, Flavio Childen. Why do we have multiple keepers coming in here? Yappa! Just want to make sure that like they can actually get in here there you go a Sheila Anton what is with their language Oops. There we go. The little waggles get to me. Like, it's so cute. Jeez, this stream probably hasn't been going on for a while, has it? No, it's only been going on for an hour. What the frick? We didn't really spend all that much time in this one, did we? Well, how about you guys stop coming into the exhibit unless you need to? 
Because this is kind of getting, uh, like, yeah. obsessive. Like, look at this. You keep coming in here for no reason other than just to be here. To just exist. Go back and do the rest of your job or you're fired. Could start another one. Well, we could always put something in this enclosure. Let's see. I want a skink. I know. Yes. Blue tongue skinks. And no, I don't want a beetle. Thank you. I want these guys. I love, love blue tongue skinks. They're they're such beautiful animals. We're gonna get Piper. Look at that. Skinks are cute. Yeah, this is this is a lizard I want to keep as a pet one day. I would love to have a blue tongue skink. Boop, 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 boop. Just give them all the accessories. And then... Turn up the temperature and turn up the humidity slightly. Not too much, though. Blue tongue skinks are awesome. Yes, they are. Yeah, anyway, let's check out Piper. Let's, let's check her out. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that. I zip. I zip. <laughs> I love her so much. Look at her. Oh, she's a beautiful specimen. And the babies are absolutely adorable. Watch this. Exit keeper cannot reach exhibit possibly due to your zone. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I never did put this down on a work zone, did I? Let's fix that quickly. Edit work zone. So now, this, this, this is now covered in this work zone. Boom. That takes care of it. You know what? While we're at it, might as well get a second one, right? This time we'll get Lincoln. Now, where's my boy Lincoln? No, don't move. Where is, where is he? Oh, look at him. So fat and chubby. How can they move with the tiny little legs? Those legs are like little tiddlers. Okay, now we gotta update the information boards. Eastern Blue Tongue Skink. Ah! We're gonna get rid of that one though. There we go. Does the Zoopedia have any information on these on these guys? I would be very surprised if they don't. Yes, there it is. Okay. So, let's read up on these guys. Eastern Blue Tongue Skink. Teliqua Sinoidis Sinoidis. Okay. Uh, least concern population wild unknown, probably because there's so many of them. The Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard, or Eastern Blue Tongue Skink, is a species of reptile that lives in the woodland, scrubland, and semi-desert areas of Australia. They are broad and squat animals with a triangular head and a thick tail. It has various color morphs, but typically has tan, beige, and black scales arranged in a striped pattern, and its name suggests it has a bright blue tongue. At adult Eastern Blue Tongue Skink Lizards, are between 18 inches 
and 24 inches in length. So about as almost as long as my arm. And here they are. They are from uh, grassland, temperate, and tropical. Throughout most of, it looks like, eastern Australia. And we have, you know, this here. Eastern blue tongue lizards and solitary animals only interact to mate or to fight over mates. Male eastern blue tongue skinks track females by scent during the mating season. If multiple males are tracking the same female, they are likely to meet and fight aggressively for mating rights. The victor will get to mate with the female. Males can, all, can be aggressive towards females during mating using their teeth and claws. Females may get scratches and scars from mating. Jesus Christ, that sounds like some aggressive sex. Around three to five months after mating, females will give birth to an average of 10 to 10, 15 young. The female does not care for young, leaving after birth. The young are independent from birth. Eastern blue tongue lizards reach sexual maturity between 18 to 24 years old and are fully grown at around three years old when they have reached a size of appropriately 16 inches in length. Fun facts. Eastern blue tongue lizards give birth to live young. That I didn't know. I thought they always laid eggs. Eastern blue tongue lizards may detach their tail when attacked as a distraction. Their tails can grow back out of detachment. Again, didn't know this. When threatened, the eastern blue tongue lizard will puff itself up, hiss, and stick out its blue tongue to intimidate predators. Adult eastern blue tongue lizards shed their skin approximately every six weeks. And eastern blue tongue lizards have a strong and painful bite and will often and often will not let go of the bitten object. Ew, sounds like an aggressive little frick. All right, so now we know a little bit more about these lizards. Oh, you're filling up the water. You're giving them water, love. Yes, give them the water. And then put lime and coconut in it. Help them relieve the belly ache. Although I feel like you might not need, we not we might not need the water trough since they have like a body of water they could drink from here. Oh, did you guys hear that? There was like a little clopping on the rock. Clock, 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 clock. That was awesome. Oh, actually, their their meal quality is not a problem. Yes, lick the flank. Oh, here comes the feeder. What are you going to feed them? Oh, look. Nom, nom. They can't. <laughs> Did the guy seriously just go, nom, nom? Oh, we know I could do it better. Nom, nom. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty funny. Eat my pretties. Eat. <laughs> nom nom. They stole the gaming beaver sounds. They're beautiful. Look at that. Nom nom. <laughs> Actually, I could also see like a color difference between the male and the female. Look at that. She's kind of like a bright reddish color. Run, little woman, run. I'm positive there aren't any reeds we can add, right? Nope. But another way to bring these rocks to life is by adding plants in between. You know, add a little bit of that greenery. Like, add it in the corners and the cracks.
Like that. And that just makes it pop. Oh, you just plop on down, don't you? Plop. Look at that face. You really breathe heavily. It's like... <sighs> like, Jesus Christ, you sound like you're about to collapse. What the frick? Habitat cleanliness. What? Well, call a keeper, call a vet, call a mechanic, whatever. Send as many people here as possible. Oh my god, you cost us so much. The climate. How am I supposed to. Mm. How do I clean this habitat? I mean, and why should I? There's, I turned pooping off. So why is it dirty? Are you going to clean it, sir? Mm -hmm. Are you just, nope, you're just going to, you're just going to gawk. Okay, I need to figure this out. Shh, figure this out. Give me a moment, guys. Water treatment. Really? What's the water look like in this habitat? The water looks fine. I just don't get it. It doesn't appear there is a fix, other than moving stuff around. Well, we'll try that. We'll try moving the shelter around. We'll see if that works. What are you doing, woman?
Yeah, you better run. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Get out of her way, you buggers, yeah. You're in you're in the way of official business. Off the ho ho. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, dismiss, dismiss this. Because there's no, there's not, I've turned off disease and, oh no, there's a, there's a wall here. Bye bye. Settings incomplete loop, multiple gates. Okay, that's just basic stuff. Habitat checklist. Nope. This isn't helping. Water temperature, exhibit welfare. No, that's not it. I just don't get it. Nope. Nothing there. Animal welfare. It only describes water cleanliness. This is stupid. This is incredibly infuriating. Every no, every three months. Thank you. Mechanic, every month. Thank you. Thank you kindly. There. Ah! Yeah, there's. There, I don't think there's anything we could do about that. Where's the vet going? Does it need water treatment or something? N well, no, because the water treatment thing is. It says it's fine. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I can see the problem now. Okay, I get it. I get it. I hear you. Water treatment. Here we go.
I'll cover that one. Now we need another one. And I'll place it here. Boom. And will that treat it all? Yes! Yes, I am a genius! And you are not! Thanks, thanks, Sora. That, that, that actually helped me a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, dear. Yep. Yeah! There, that should do it, right? Yay, it fixed it. it. You guys doing okay now? You guys okay? Hello, I'm new to chat. Well, hello, Erica Co Co Cooses, I think that's how you pronounce it. Welcome. So happy to have you. Yeah. It looks like our gators will be fine now. What's the, what's the, ha yes, cleanliness 80%. It's going up. Yay. Yes. Yes. We've done it. Is this accessible? Yeah, I want to, um, I want to split this from the group, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Oh, the big dude's just sleeping here. Like, ah. I really like your vids. Oh, well, thank you. That means a lot. So let's see. Yep. Three claws on the front, on the first fingers, and no claws in the front, in, in the last two. Just like a real Archosaur. And I like all your vids. Yeah, I, I think you said that already. And I sub to your channel. Well, thank you. That from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I I really appreciate that. But okay, I'm getting distracted. It's a keypad, and they aren't walking through the gate. I'll face through it. Ah! You have nice legs. Okay. We should probably cover up that that thing over there. North America. Boop. Like the like you, by the way. Well, thank you. It's not quite done yet, but we're getting there. Bracken, you touch it, you die. The comic exhibit came out really well. It really did. I'm quite proud of that. Buffalo grass. Oh, I can actually hear like water rumbling from the machine. Interesting. Listen to that. The sound of water. 
No, the inside hasn't been modeled. Typical. I'm quite proud of this. I'm a train. Okay. I'm a train. Toot toot. I'm a chill in the water. I'm a crocodile. Bah! Actually, I'm curious. Are now crocodiles in this game? Or is it just the salt water? Nope, looks like Nile crocodiles aren't going to be a part of this. Choo choo! Yeah. Saltwater crocodiles are in here, though. That's still pretty good. So, grizzly bear. There you are. So this, oh, excuse me. So this will be our next animal. You really do like to wiggle waggle. I want to see them interact with this. Rub yourself. Yes, eat. Oh, they have like. They have like the tongues flicking out. Look at that. The copy zoo came out really well. Yeah, I think so too. But it could always be better. Can you tour me your your zoo, bro? Well, there's really not much to see. So far, all we got is the entrance here, which I've actually never seen up close until now. And I didn't realize someone was having a conversation here. Excuse me. And here we have our staff facilities, part one, because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get more here soon. You can see our staff diligently working here with very minimal paychecks. Which of the two exhibits is your favorite? Honestly, I think the gator is still my favorite for the moment. So here we go. We go over here. And over here. And bra. And here we have our American alligator habitat. But what's fun about this one is that it's elevated. So you can look down and see the alligators. I think we have seven of them. One male and the rest are females. We got Leticia. We got Emberlyn. We have another Emberlyn. And there's our big boy, Dellen. He's the male. And he's looking beautiful today. Look at him. Look at that chunky neck. Look at that. Uh, yep. Thick boy.
You know, I've never I've never seen the gators come up here before. And it makes me wonder if they even can. Oh, food not deep enough, so what was the point of having this? He's coming toward us. Ah! Then, of course, the only other habitat we have is the Okapi habitat. And we have one male, one female. And I've not clicked on him. So this is a Badua. He's our male. And where's the female? Where's your lady? Oh, she's eating from the hate. She's eating from the hangar. Oh, and she poops it with her head. Hee hee. This is a Baco. Because Baca makes her sound like, like an idiot. Look at that. This, she's so cute. I love the copies so much. They're so cute. They're adorable. She keeps on bopping her head on the hanger. It's still crazy to think these guys are like close relatives of giraffes. <laughs> boink! <laughs> that was so cute. Just went, wee boink! Oh, are you going to eat from the fern feeder too? Hit the thing, oh copy! But you can, look at those flanks. You can see why I said like it was a cross between a giraffe and a zebra. Because the hindquarters have like those break those patterns on their on their backside. Very reminiscent of a zebra. Or zebra if you're if you're you know, if that's how you pronounce it. Whatever. If you don't if you're not an American. And that's essentially it. I mean, aside from um our two skinks that we have in here, which are hiding. Well, there's one. I just don't see the other. Well, here, here's one right there. If you can see him. Look at that. Hello, buddy. Can you flick out your tongue? Yeah, there you go. And there is one more hiding in here. Oh, wait. I think I found him. Yeah, there they are. Look at that. Hiding under the rock. Insert the Yoshi sound effect. Ow! Ow! Yeah, these guys are adorable. I love them. What kind of biome is your zoo? Well, because I live in Virginia, I decided to go with a North American temperate sort of environment. So, oh, I'm just going to... Just gonna pluck this tree. Move it over here. Thank you. We're on an island. We're surrounded by water. Ah! Gotta go back. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going. <laughs> Don't go into the long grass. I live for the chaos. We're surrounded by water. Ah! <laughs> It's raft at a bear habitat. 
Well, actually, that's what the next one's gonna be. Um, cause like I'm, I'm kind of also doing requests. So, the next one we'll do is grizzly bears. And then Marco wanted a giant ant eater, so we'll also do that one. And then eventually, I'd I would love to have like a Asian elephant habitat, cause those are my favorite. I, outside of T Rex, Asian elephants are my favorite animals. And no, yet yeah, you can't say that T Rex can't be a favorite animal because it's a dinosaur. Yes, I can because it's an animal. So suck it. So yeah, looking forward to having Asian elephants in here. I think they're beautiful animals. Yes, and a pronghorn too. I'd like to see African wild dogs. That'd be nice having a canine of some sort. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, wherever you're going, you're getting there fast. Yes, painted dogs. I love the sounds they make. The, the guttural sound that comes out of their throat. I gotta check the Zoopedia to see if some of these animals are actually in here. Painted dogs. Uh, African wild dog right there. Uh, let's see. There's also the giant ant eater. It's so cute looking. Look at that. It's so adorable. Uh, Siberian tiger. I know. Is Siberian tiger in here? I know some kind of tiger is in here. Yeah, Siberian tiger right there. And I know for a fact pronghorns are in here. You know, for pronghorns, we could probably like make that like a joint habitat. <gasps> Beavers! Yes! The, the gaming beaver would be pleased. Pronghorn antelope, right there. Yes, you love anteaters. But I raise you from anteaters and give you the aardvark. They're so cute looking. I love aardvarks. I think they're adorable. Yeah, the next one we'll do are grizzly bears. Then we'll get on to ant eaters. And then we'll do uh, prong pronghorns, wild dogs, and tigers. Then I'll get my elephants because I, I, I need to have a park with elephants. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this space here. You're only staring at a wall. You're pointing at an ATM. <laughs> what are you looking at? Will you be the first one to crawl onto the land? I turn on the notification bell. Sweet. I wonder what it'd be like to swim with one of these guys. I mean, it must be absolutely terrifying to swim with it, with alligators. So I can know another live chat. Well, the next one we'll do is Pokemon. That will be on uh, Tuesday. Like, because that's like uh, a weekly thing. Also, um, you'll need to make a list at this rate. You know, I just might. I love the water plants in this. Can't wait for the grizzly bear stream. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. I recall building a panda bear exhibit in my last part. Make an animalist. Yeah, ha, that might be handy. You know what? Why not? Um, 
I'll actually do that after stream because I kind of need Google Docs and I don't have it on my phone right now. Yes, this is this is our zoo. This is what it looks like so far. But anyway, guys, I think that might be where we're going to call it for now. Don't burn yourself out with streaming. Obviously not. I, I mean, I'm obviously taking my time doing this stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed 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 tonight's stream uh it was a lot of fun for me um i mean we got another habitat done so next time we will do grizzly bears which will be fun oh uh, thanks for streaming no problem uh but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed tonight's uh stream if you did leave a like subscribe today hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new link to my discord uh server and my twitch in the description down below and until next time this is trying to set by signing off Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.